what you like, but also oh, don't tell a man a, what you don't like. We got a question. So what if they ask you what do you like? How do you answer that question? That okay. is a good one. Joe, I'm gonna let you take that yeah, one and then let I'm gonna follow up. That's a good because question. You said something. I was just gonna interject. You said something about telling the man what you like, but don't ever tell a man what you don't like either. I mean, because it's a conversation. I like doing different things. I like doing multiple things. You know, show me something new. You like you like learning seeing new things and doing new things. See, don't all you know, you you want to experience multiple things because you don't want to also say I like A, B, C and you pigeonholing yourself. Because he'll right. do those things. You don't like you don't also say, Well, I don't like A, B, C, because he's gonna say, Okay, if she don't like A, B, C, I'm gonna do the opposite. Just say I like doing different things. I like doing multiple things. You know, And you would give him a few examples. Like, yeah. let me reiterate. Cause I, I think I miss uh, I gave some miscommunication. When a person asks you, What do you like in a man? That's where you got to be careful because that is what they're paying attention to. When you say, I like a man to do X, Y, Z, that's the blueprint you're giving. If a person asks you, what do you like to do? It is okay to tell them that, all right? You can tell them, I like to travel because I do. I tell them, I like to travel. I li I'm a foodie, so I like to eat different foods, different restaurants. That's okay. But you do have to be careful with telling them too much. You need to allow that man to figure you out too. If he really likes you, let him figure you out. Allow him to still do the things that you like to do, but let him bring something to the table as well to show you that, you know what? Okay, I, she's a foodie, so let me take her to this nice restaurant. But then shut up after that. Allow him to now follow up with something else. And this is not a one-sided conversation. I'm speaking to the women right now because we got to get the man's job or, or, or get him back into position with doing the seeking and doing the work. A lot of times we talk too much. And we're not giving them nothing to, to be creative about. You know, a lot of girls, oh, my gosh, when we see things on social media, like with Valentine's Day, we see these elaborate pictures and stuff. The first thing us, us single women think is, dang, I want a man to do that to me. Well, guess what? Let's see if he's creative or he cares enough or that, to do or that without that, you having to tell let him. Let me say this. Let's tell see him. if that's who he really is. Because the key is sometimes, and I, and you said tell him what you like, but and I, and I think we had a question saying that, but I'm okay with telling me what, what you like, but what I'm not okay with for you or for your benefit is telling him what you don't like because then all I'm going to do is do the opposite. See, my whole theory that's has true. been you tell, you when I meet a woman and she say, yeah, my last, I, I ask a question. This is a typical question. And please, if, if I'm wrong. I got to so why are you single? You're so beautiful. Why are you single? And you tell me, because my last man didn't do this, my last man didn't do this. So what do you think I'm going to do? I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to do the opposite. That's easy. That's true. true. That the is true. Me, I'm the best person <laughs> in the world. Oh, my God. He, 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 he calls me at night in the morning telling me good morning. He, he takes me to dinner because you told me your man didn't do that. So what I'm saying is I want to know what you like and what you want, but please don't – you know, I'm saying this, and this, I know some of the guys might not like this, but, again, when you tell me what you don't like, I'm going to give you the proof right there. I'm going to show you. I'm going to do the opposite. So I want you all to understand, say, hey I, hey, I like doing this. I like doing this. But what do you like to do? Find out who he is because he's going to become who you want him to be, yeah. who, who you're telling him to be if you don't realize you're telling him that. Women don't ever realize you're telling us who to tell me who to be. I can be whatever man you want me to be. Yeah. So, so don't tell me. Let me be the man I really am. And then you're going to be able to decide. We're going to go back. We're going to kind of get back on track. What box I belong in then? Do I need to stay in this box? Because you're going to say, well, okay, he's not my type of guy. He's a, he's a good friend. We can hang out every day with Joe. He's fun. Because I know his, 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 what he really likes to do is not what I like. Because one thing about me, it might find, it might be sound bad. Mm -hmm. and, I'm, and again, I know everybody here is 21. I am very big on telling the woman from the door how much I like to have sex. And I, I say it because what I don't want her to do is want to have sex with me. I, I, we, we get together. We like to have sex a lot. And then when we get together, she don't want to do it. I'm like, well, why are we changing now? You agreed to it. You knew I told you. There's no reason. One thing about me, and I'm going to say this real quick. I think I'm a very intelligent young man, but I know I can't read minds. That's something I know I can't do. And I don't want you shouldn't have to read my mind. So I'm going to tell you what I like, and you should tell me what you like. So you yeah. telling them on the first date that you like that? No, not, not, not in the first date, but as we have conversations going through, I'm going to tell them the things I like. I like. Oh, oh okay. I'm All right. Go along. So if I, if, I, if I tell you how I am early enough, you're going to be like, okay, well, I know how Joe is. But, but if I do tell you that second or third date, you're going to be like, man, Joe likes to have sex every day. I don't want to do that. You're going to know. <laughs> nah, I, I agree with you on that one because I'm like that too. Like, <laughs> when you, if a person asks you, what's your ideal relationship? Exactly. Yeah, that, that is, for 
me, it, it is, it, it's important. I'm yeah. just going to be real. I, I, it's for me, it is important. It is, it is a key factor. I, I, I am very honest with the person that I'm talking to as well. Mm -hmm. Like, listen now, I'm all for everything. I, I'm, I'm big on respect. I'm big on honesty. I'm big on all of that. You know, consistency, especially communication. But I'm also big on sex. And I, I explain that too. And yes, it's okay as a woman to say that. I mean, you can kind of, you can do it in a feminine way. You don't have to be like, oh yeah, you know, I like that. Jeff <laughs> dudes with Big D. And I like, you don't have to, you know what I mean? You can't tone it down like we yeah. do. But, you know, keep it real, but just make sure that that entire conversation doesn't and, become, and let me say this. The, you know what I mean? Yes, that doesn't so me, become all y'all talk about. Y'all be careful with that too. Let me say this, this is important too. <laughs> One thing about us men, we remember things just like you all do. So whatever you tell me in the beginning, I'm going to remember that. So don't tell me something's not real. Don't tell me some expectations, you, you know. So if you tell me, I'm going to remember those things. Let me remember it, though. You don't have to keep beating in my head. So, again, we're we going to have another topic about this. We're going, we going somewhere else. But I want to keep about, I want to get back to how we, we, we maneuver this box. That's what I want to do. Because I will go back to more. If you have some questions, please, please chime in and have those questions. But what I want to make sure we stay on is when you're in this first box and you meet people and you realize, okay, this ain't the girl for me. She good. She cute. She sexy. I'm not going to let her, her looks and her physical attractions to me decide my baseline for her right you see, no woman no man whether he rich poor whatever he look like same thing with a woman with a woman don't let her change your baseline because what's going to happen is you don't get in a situation where you're changing the baseline and then you're stuck like dang you, you're trying to make something out of this really not, not what it is because again your first instinct you are very you know what you like you know, if, if, if you go to a restaurant, you know if something don't smell right, you ain't gonna eat. You know from the door. Then don't try to convince yourself to say, nah, it might be better. Don't let nobody else tell you, this is the best thing in the world. If I don't like it, I'm not gonna like it. So yeah. keep it where it belongs. So while you're in this dating box again, I don't want, I want to, don't be too long winded here. While we're in this dating box, just maneuver it. Talk to people, enjoy people's company. But back to what we always say, and I always say this once you decide to cross a line, again, you have a right to know where this is going. Because you might see a guy, I might see a woman and say, I want to date her. We get in that box. She, okay, I'm going to take her out a couple of times and one thing lead to another. Now, I might say, okay, but I don't elevate nothing yet until we continue to know each other because sex is easy to do. Yeah, it is. You know, that's the easiest part of a relationship, really. We make it the hardest part. The easiest part is being with someone and not having sex. Being with someone, when you're dating someone, I'm going to give you a little hint. If you get with someone, y'all going on on a date, see how, how fast I got to turn the radio before while y'all driving. If you you said what? When you meet someone, y'all dating. Okay, let's say you get in the car with someone and the radio's not on. Y'all get in the car. See how fast you have to turn the radio on because you can y'all have a conversation? I don't think I've ever been on a date with somebody and the radio wasn't on. That's fine though. But can you all go on a ride, go for from your house to a restaurant without having the radio on? Because y'all can y'all talk? Yeah, now I've had conversations with people I've dated talking, but the radio was on. That okay. just to me is I'm a big just giving it. I mean, I, it must not be 100% like, oh, but I'm saying the gist of what I'm saying is I've been with women that it was great. Then we had a conversation. Like, oh, my God, let's, have, let's sleep together. Because if we wasn't having sex, I didn't want to be around them. Because yeah. it was, the sex was great. The, it was fun. But can you have a conversation with someone? Because sex shouldn't be the, the, the I, I love sex, but sex shouldn't be what your relationship is based on. So it needs to be based on you and all, you and that person having some compatibility and things you like and want to do. But sometimes if you're drinking and you're feeling the drink, though, you're not caring about none of that. Yeah, I'm not saying every time. You just see a guy as sexy as hell, and you're like, right. okay, like what we talked about on yes. part two, you got some that go to the bar just to, you know, some people want right. to test but their product earlier. Like, if they date. see somebody like they like, some people like to test the product before they decide to invest in it. And then and you I'm got some that will prefer to get to know a person a little bit longer before they test the product. But I think, Everybody I think, is different. Well, what I'm saying is, and I think we're kind of mixing the two. But again, if you meet somebody, I've met someone, I, I put myself out, I don't put nobody else out. I've been, I, I met someone at a bar, I wasn't even thinking about it, and sorry, we end up having sex. But again, it, that was fine. I didn't care about yeah. no music or no radio then. But when I started talking to her more, I realized, oh my God, I don't like this person like that. So I took her, she wasn't, she wasn't going to go in the dating box because I knew I couldn't date her. All I could do was sleep with her here and there. And so I, you took I, her out the dating box. What box did you put her in? I, I put her in a friends with benefit. <laughs> because I know when I, when I spent more than after we, before I, I was okay going out with her, going to her house and sleeping with her. And I was okay waking up with her for maybe an hour or so. But after the hour, I had to go. We had to sleep with her. <laughs> so her mentality was different. All right. I don't want to get off subject. <laughs> What's one exit, <laughs> exit word 
That is a common exit word that guys use that women should probably know that it is not going to be an opportunity there. Well, I, you know what, though? Are I, you going to tell on yourself by giving that exit <laughs> word? Listen, no. <laughs> <laughs> but here's the thing. No, I, I, I can answer this question. The, 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 me, personally, I'm not going to ever give you an exit word because I might want to come back a year later and sleep with you. Typical F-boy. I'm just being real. So so don't, don't again, like I said earlier, don't let me define your baseline. Right. You you let me define it. You got to you define your own baseline. Right. Don't let me define that because you're saying you don't look for an exit word. No, you, what, what's my favorite place? Go in that mirror look for the exit word. Go in that mirror by, in your bathroom by yourself and say, hey, wait a minute. Is this somebody I should still be sleeping with or being with? I'm talking about the guy. Like if a girl sleeping with a guy, you just gave an example that you slept with a girl and you mm -hmm. decided because you tested the product first, mm -hmm. right? Right. And you said once you got to know this person, you decided then yeah. I don't want to be with her. You had already started sleeping with her, which means that the other person's emotions is probably there, right? Mm -hmm. So... <laughs> Then I'm like, remember, okay, remember this is the guy to? speaking. But right. now we haven't even touched on the girl because the girl, yeah, she don't gave up the goods a little bit early. But now she likes you. Now you've decided you don't like her. So you and now you said you don't even give an exit strategy. Right. So but what, what, what did I tell you I do though? It's wrapped up on you. What, what did I tell you, you I do? moved on to somebody else. And this ain't not just you, but I'm just saying. Yeah, like, but I'm saying, no, what I tell you that I do as a man. What do men do? We just want to keep say, you around. What's the exit I know that. I know, but what, no, 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 what we can do? We keep you around. We're not gonna ever cut you off. So, because you might. So with basically, a, the woman is gonna know based off of his actions, which her, his about. actions, because if yep. she like, wait a minute, because one woman like say, I'm okay having him having the uh, f buddy. Some women want that. Yeah, they do. You decide what you want. Don't let me decide what you want. Don't let me decide this relationship. You also, we gotta decide together because if I sleep, if I sleep with you on, uh, I meet you on Friday, sleep with you on Saturday. And then on my Sunday, Monday, I, I, I'm not, I'm busy, you know, again. Because guess what? As a man, want to see with you every day. We like to say. Y'all, that's those calls. If you ever dated a guy and you have not heard from him in like two days, that, to me, that is your first flag right there. And you ain't heard from that man the next day, all day. And this don't even have nothing to do with just the sex part. This is period. Right. I, and you can chime in. If you kicking it with a guy, you think that it is going well, but then you haven't heard from this man in a couple days, and then he called back like everything cool, like you haven't just heard from y'all, red flag. And he called back like, out. hey, hey, what flag. you doing? Let's go. And he called back, hey, what you doing? Let's go out tonight. <laughs> yeah. But I, I, I'm horny again. Like, I'm a, I don't want... <laughs> I don't want to spend no time because you know you hear that. I do it. I, I've done it. I'm not going, you know, I'm putting myself, I've done it before. I might talk to women. I'm going to hit you up a couple days later. What you doing? Let's go hang out. I know what I want. I know what's going to happen because, again, the mistake that I feel, and I and I say this because I feel this, that I have had happen because I, I have manipulated it to happen. I'll say that. That I know she liked me. So, again, I, I call, give her a little bit. She's going to come back and she's going to, then she's going to try to make it work. She's going to try, okay, I like him. So, I'm going I'm to give it to him. I'm going to do it. You know what I mean? <laughs> But so again, I don't feel guilty because I'm, I'm a man. I'm a hunter. Like I told you before, my, my favorite analogy I always use when relationships is fish. Let me come and hunt you. Let me come yeah. find you. If I go out there and try to fish and then I get to the water and you jump off, oh, there he go and jump on my boat. I'm going to use you to our. Hold on. They say, oh, there he go. Yeah, they jump <laughs> off the water. Go first. You see me? Okay, they go. Oh, I'm a, I know he's going to. I know he like me. He's going to come over. Yeah, I will. I mean, you know, some of us women, we know when we got that gift. You know, we know when we, when we like, the baddest. But, but, but everybody's going to have your gift? But let them walk up to you, though. Know, I, I don't, I don't, I ain't, that ain't my gift? thing. Right, that's what I'm, I, saying. I'm not have, approaching. Huh? That's what I'm saying, you might have that gift, but is everybody supposed to have the gift that you have? I think every woman has a unique no, gift within you're not herself. No, you're not hearing me. Is everybody, is every man supposed to have the gift that you have? You give it what to everybody? Mean? What do you mean? Your gift. You know, women got this gift. What's the gift that women have? Gift of intuition, most importantly. Okay, okay. so again, let me go back. I thought you were talking about the gift something. of creating new life. So you know, so why, and I made a mistake. I thought you were talking about something, another kind of gift that y'all have. But the reality of it is, you have that intuition, go with it. You know it. You and I, and, we, and I, I'm going to say this, we watched a movie before. We talked about a movie. And a woman knew, but she couldn't take it. She knew her intuition, but then later on, when it got bad, it was his fault. It was his fault. That's that baseline, though. Your intuition is going to help you with your baseline. You know what's good for you. A lot of times, 
some people don't know what's good for them until they experience it and then you know they recognize it's not good for them because some people might think that some things are good for them until they recognize it but your intuition it and and you actually recognizing who you are as a woman that's when you're going to be able to determine what's good for you what type of relationship you want to be in some people like being in relationships where you know it's the guy is super aggressive some people like that some people like soft spoken man it just really depends on what your baseline is well, your what, baseline again is what you and, want and, and out what, of a relationship and to continue to add on out of a person once you get that baseline you meet people you see some red flags just do me a favor don't take your past into the new because those signs become a problem because yeah, i say okay here's my baseline because the last guy that didn't call me on time he was cheating on me this 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 so when you meet a new person you got to come in with a clean slate i know it's hard i know it's hard it, everything because your past is what makes you who you are who brought you to this moment but you can't always judge him on what he did and i hope you understand what i'm saying the new guy can't be judged because the new guy might be different he, his lifestyle might be different, so he can't do those things. And just like a man, the first time I see a woman who might not want to, can't, ain't, ain't available for me, I can't get mad at her because the, the last one I was with, when she wasn't available, she was cheating on me. You know, you yeah. can't do those things because it messes it up because it screws up your ability to see something new and fresh because everybody is not, everybody is not the same. You can't, because you don't want to be categorized. Don't categorize people. And just to kind of recap what we're talking about is a follow-up from part two where once you've gotten everybody in the appropriate boxes, that means, you know, the, the friend zone, the dating zone, whatever the case might be, we are now talking about what happens next. This is the meshing part. This is once the honeymoon stage is over. The honeymoon stage is when everybody's putting on, oh, she's beautiful. Oh, he is handsome. Oh, man, you know, this person is funny, this and that. This is when everybody's putting on their good feet. Now you're in part three, which we are in when you are now having a mesh. This is the part where it gets real. And this is the part where you're going to have to be able to really pay attention to signs and where you're going to recognize who has truly healed, including yourself. And if the person is a good fit for you, this is the part where you need to be the most open. I'm going to be honest with you, where you cannot get wild or, or rock to sleep based off of a person's, um, uh, what is it, gestures or whatever it is that they're doing. Like, you can't get rock to sleep. You still got to, I mean, be appreciative. I don't want, like, to be telling folks to be hard out here now and say, oh, you're just doing that because you're trying to sleep with me. Please don't be like that. Don't. Like, enjoy the moment. But what we are saying is to be focused and stay woke. Right? Like, yeah, stay woke. Yeah, just yeah. make sure that you're not getting so caught up to where you're not paying attention to flags. That's all we saying because it's going to save you a lot of heartache, y'all. For real, it is. But once you've gotten through that stage now and, and the person's made it to the championship, and let's talk about that real quick because you know you got recruit season. Mm -hmm. So I think right now, for those that are single, we are in, we're going into recruit season, aren't we? The, the, the winter is getting ready to get warm and, and well, we're in Atlanta, so it's like never really really super super cold here but it starts warming up here about what march march so i'm just gonna speak for Atlanta. so march to july maybe is recruit season it only depends which i can't i'm say just that. The, all right for me for all you. right i'm just speaking for you. For me. For you. when it starts warming up from spring to summer that's recruit season that's normally when outside is really open everybody's getting dressed up more most people have Completed their weight goal, money goal, whatever the case might be. Summertime is normally when you play, right? That's when you travel, that's when you meet people. August is when the summer is ending. You know you're getting ready to go into the cold. Now, that's cuffing season. Now, what I always tell people is when you're going through recruit season, you got to start kind of being careful and doing your process of elimination around July to August because that's when you need to start cutting ninjas off because that's when ninjas need places to live for a cuffing season. Cuffing season is normally between, I would say, like, mid to end of August, going into the winter months, right? That's cuffing season. I say the playoffs <laughs> is around the end of October is the playoffs. You want to know why I call it the playoffs? Because normally the holidays is when you're going to really determine how serious a person is with you or if they want to bring you around their family. And that can be flipped too because I've seen f boy take people around their family and still not want to date you. But I'm just kind of giving the basis of Joe, you can chime in after that. I'm going to let you chime. The, I got the, some the, for me, the championship is Valentine's Day. If that man or whoever, if they survive Valentine's Day or they're around Valentine's Day to 
to me, that's a championship. Now, you might disagree, but that's how I look at it. That's, and that's fine. So you don't think the playoffs is around the holidays? And you do you think the championship is the holidays? No. Because here's the thing about men. That's what I, that's why I'm, I'm glad you said everything you said because that's what women, in my opinion, tend Not to do. Not all women. This is just I, me. I, I, I don't want to speak I said, for all. I, this is what I said. In my opinion, this is what some women do. Women tend to categorize things by time and stuff like that. One thing about a man, it doesn't matter. If I'm ready, I'm ready. It could be July, August, December, no matter what it is. So, again, you are, again, don't take this wrong, women. You all are just bait. You all are what we're trying to find. So, again, if I want to go hunting now, if I want to go hunting later, it doesn't matter. Now, your decision is to realize if I'm hunting you for fun or I'm hunting you just for future. Future and fun is two different things. So, but I'm going to hunt every day of my life. And see, when you say, we talk about this, about dating, and you're gonna, that's when you're trying to get into that, where you, your, your, um, your, 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 your uh, replacement is going to show up. You ain't that real person that's going to show up. For men, it, the real person never going to show up until you're actually in a relationship. Because we're always in that mode. I'm telling you, we're always in the mode of hunting. We're hunting, we're hunting every day. So Explain that. Because, see, we're going to date. We're dating you, we're dating you. You're going to see our representative every day. Until something happens and say, you know, I want her. And when I want her, I want to be one-on-one -on -one with you. Then you're going to see the real joke. See, we always, that's not, not to say, I know you, I know in your opinion, but I'm telling you, as a man. No, I don't have an opinion. I have right. a question. Go ahead, please. You said that with men, you guys show the real you once you get in a relationship, once right? We, once we commit to that one person. So... Part three, which we are in, mm -hmm. is the process of elimination, which we've talked about that. Mm -hmm. Part three is also, which you agree, when the man really needs to start aggressively making his move to yes. under get the woman to understand his seriousness with yes. her. Yes. A lot of times, and with every married man that I've asked about when did they know, they all said that they knew the woman that they married and wanted to be with off top, they knew she was the one. We do know every her. one of them. So it does not take a man to be with no, you we, for we take, two, three no, years no, to figure no, out if you I really want to be. Time, but know what happens is it takes a man to get rid of those other women. You well, that's cool, won. but I'm talking about not nah, actually that. It don't take no man on two, three years. To get no, rid of I, I, I never said two or three years. Oh. I said a man's oh. gonna make a decision to be with you, but he's still gonna keep it. I might meet a woman tomorrow and say, okay, she the one. But I got other things going on. So I'm going to still play so I make sure she's the one. A man knows in the beginning. Hold on, what do you mean if she's the one to make sure that she's the one? What? That's what we are. Because we want to make sure you think we, we know we, you are who we think you are. Okay. Oh, so just for clarity, mm -hmm. you meet somebody and off top, when you meet her, you're like, man, she the one. Yes. But what you're saying is even though in your mind, now she has to be able, it's just kind of like verification is yes, what she said. The more you go out with her date, you still gonna have your, your sliders on the side. What's my favorite phrase? More. What about my favorite one of my favorite phrases I say to you all the time? The monkey syndrome. Remember I talk about the monkey syndrome? A monkey is once I grab on this one branch, I ain't gonna let this other branch go yet. So I'm going like monkey's gonna swing for one, and we're gonna hold on. So once I finally realize this, I'll put both hands on this branch. But at first for a while, I, I'm, I'm gonna grab on that because I like it, I'm gonna get it. But I'm going to swing for a little bit because I'm not sure. Does she so the man really should have the conversation? Well, like, don't he, at what point, and, and this is this is some of the issues, though, with, with mm -hmm. that, right, mm -hmm. that I've ran into mm -hmm. or that I've heard. Let me just generalize it. That I've heard from multiple people. A man can love a woman and want to be with her but don't know how to let go. A lot of times, some men, and I don't want to yes. say all men because I don't think it would be fair. Some men, it, it, to me, I look at it as a greedy thing. But it's like, okay, I want her, but I don't know how to let this go. But I'm going to still keep her because I don't want to lose her. Well, can I and say then something? she, who you claim is the one, ends up becoming a placeholder now. Because you don't know how to let this over and, here go. Let, let me, and this, this is something that you though. as a man can this answer. We can answer for y'all. But I will tell you one thing. Don't hold on to a let's, good woman. But, but guess or, what, or put up to the side too long because you're going to lose what, The key is, once you, if that man has two hands on you, he let one go and go somewhere else, you got to realize he ain't got two hands on you now. Two. Don't huh? be a placeholder. You see what I'm saying? You, the, the scenario you just gave, that he got you, then he realized he wants something else. So he take his hand off of you and go, he got hands on you and somebody else. No, that's it. not what I was saying. Mm -hmm. I was I was I was referring to your statement of 
the monkey syndrome, where right. a man has a hand on one branch and a hand on another branch, and he's not going to let go of the other one until he's sure about this so branch, right? you got to let him go. Right, but hold on, you're going ahead. I was trying to get clarity for what you said. So, but what I'm saying is a lot of guys don't know how to let this part go. Even though they are now sure she's shown them, right. he still don't know how to let this go because he's become too dependent on having this. So right. that's where the woman has to now be able to decide, okay, I got to let go. And a lot of times it ain't easy because it's by not, then you so far invested into this person because you start liking them too. Exactly. And it's like, well, damn, you know, we were doing so good. That's why you, a lot of people that's had this issue, we were doing so good. I don't know where we went wrong. Right. And you look up and, and you have to realize as men or women, I'm saying both because it happens to both of us. You right. didn't do anything wrong. You had to let go because he was he or she was not willing to take that sacrifice to yep. move the relationship forward to where it's supposed to go. So yes, you had to let go for your own good. You know what I mean? Your own good. You had to, but Can yeah, I, you, let, it's, let I'm me, glad you said that though, yeah, that, that's give, the problem. Let me give an example because here's the thing. That's why I said your baseline. When your baseline comes into play and, you, and a man is doing everything you need him to do, once you see, what, and I don't care what anybody says, if I'm doing every, I'm giving you 100%. If I take 1% and put it somewhere else, you're going to feel it. You're going to slowly start feeling me going somewhere else. And when you start feeling that, you got to, don't let, don't let me get to 50%. Don't let me get to 70 When you feel 1% leaving, have a top, sit down and have a top conversation. So you yeah. can, because okay, you can't, it's not his job. I, and I shouldn't say this, but his job is not to keep himself there. He's going to feel like it's your job to keep me there. So again, the key is sometimes people, a man or, or a woman, whomever, has to realize, guess what? I don't want to go hunting no more. I don't want to go fishing no more. See, that's what the problem is. So if I still want to fish and hunt, do I really want to be here? I mean, that's the, that's the reality. Because you go buy the house you want, you're going to quit looking. Okay. You know what I mean? But if I buy, if I get a house, I really don't want. I just needed one at the time because I was cold. I needed a house to get. I needed a car just to get by, get somewhere. I don't really want this car, so I'm not gonna take care of it. But if that's the car you want, you gonna take yeah. you gonna you gonna stop driving by the car lot and saying looking in the looking online for another car. And see, some men will have a car and look online for another one. And you said something. What? Communicate. Yes, communicate. That's something that has to go through. It has to happen throughout the entire. Phase of you, you building something, something with somebody is to communicate. As soon as you hear something different, open up and talk about it. Say, hey, look, what's going on? You can't yeah. let it get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Because all they say, my mom used to say a long time ago, if, if one finger can turn into a, five fingers and turn into a fist. So don't let one finger, then two fingers, three fingers. Also, you get a fist, you get punched in the face. Like, what happened? When that one finger come loose, like, wait a minute, what's going on? Something feels different. And you and we all know it. We all know when something is different. But we do yeah. we want to say, well, maybe, first of all, we say, well, I ain't nothing. Then we're going to take it, oh, maybe it was me. Maybe I did something wrong. Or maybe you start, we start making excuses. Let's start making excuses. Don't second guess yourself. Don't second guess that intuition. Guess that. You. It's, exactly. it's to you for you that feeling, don't, don't second guess it. Trust mm -hmm. yourself. Because, again, and I go, and, I'm, and I know I keep talking to analogies for people, but, again, the first time you go to, we, we said, we, 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 we didn't talk about McDonald's. We did Burger King. We'll do Burger King this time. The first time they don't give you your fries, you're going to stop. Hey, wait a minute. I ain't got my fries. Don't say, okay, well, maybe they didn't know. Maybe something was wrong. And maybe it was my fault. Maybe I ain't saying no. You stop your car, get out and go in and say, I ain't get my fries. Do that. That's life. Do it in your relationships, too. The first time you ain't get something you're not supposed to have that somebody said you're going to get, just stop and say it. Because that man said, I love you. I want to be with you. Again, I want this. I'm going to do this. And when you stop doing those things, don't say, okay, well, maybe he didn't. He, he forgot the fries today. No, what tomorrow's he's gonna forget the shit, the, the drink. Then next week gonna fit the whole meal, and then next week you'll be paying for the meal for somebody else. Then you get an attitude. Mm -hmm. He ain't no good. This, this, this. Remember, he didn't give you the fries that one time. You know that. Yeah, that's one thing about some of us women. Now we will we will start keeping tabs mentally. Like, all right, now you know your intuition. First of all, we feel it beforehand. We feel it. Every woman that has either been cheated on or dealt with an F boy or just any type of bad relationship guys too but I'm just talking about women because I'm a woman we feel it oh we feel it before we see it we feel it and a lot of times when we let it go that's not necessarily said we forget we remember but then once we had that big disagreement with that guy everything from what this man did in 1989 is so, why, so let me ask a question I need <laughs> I want some information you why did you all it. let it? Why did you all let it go the first time and second time? You want to know something? A lot of times, black women we have been labeled as argumentative, attitudeish, um, catty, snappy, um, nitpicky. We have been labeled with so many different things, right? 
And so depending on what type of woman that you are, and I'm not speaking for all women by giving this answer, but I can speak for some. A lot of times what we do is if we see something off, everything doesn't warrant an argument. Everything doesn't warrant you necessarily even bringing it up. It's just like, okay, you know what? Depending on how big it is. Now, if it's something small, even I do this. Okay. All right. You know what? You might have been tired. All right. But you're going to keep it in the back of your mind because the reason why is I'm not going to forget that because if you do it again, now I know it wasn't a mistake. Now I know that, okay, we need to have Can a discussion because you did quick. this last let me, week. Let me please interject right there. You, you said something I love to hear women do all the time. I love it. It's so funny to me. You just do, when, when we do something wrong, you give us an answer. You say, like, well, maybe he was tired. Let me ask me what the problem was. See, We should. Right. That's and, the and, and, communication let's, let's, barrier let's, let's, that we now. have amongst me, a lot yes. of sexes we don't. Yes. But not everybody know how to communicate. And not yes. every guy knows how. Because some guys and let's, some let's, women, depending on how it comes out, if she's already irritated or if he's already irritated, if it is something, like I said, if it's something small, right, he might think, guys, you nitpicking about that. And it might not have been nothing. But now he is thinking, well, dang, she don't trust me. And what the other party doesn't, or party, the other person doesn't want is for the other person to start thinking they don't trust them by now asking questions about something small. So, like, for me, certain little small things, I would just let it go. But I'm going to still keep it in the back of my mind. But I'm like, all right, you know what? It ain't no big deal. That's something small. How would no you, how you all feel if we do that to you all and bring up all the stuff do we never said? How, huh? how do you feel then when we we remember stuff and then we get in a big argument, we bring up the last things you did for the past 10 years? How do you feel about that? We don't like it either. Okay. Neither. So neither. I'm not saying this, that, right. is, that is me, acceptable on stuff. either end. What I'm saying is that is the problem. Because right. a lot of times, so instead you, of communicating it, we will hold it in and then wait until a issue close. happens and then close. you blow up things from 20 years ago. So you don't need to talk about it, but leave, but it also, it, it starts from those little bitty things that and, you let but, go. And I, gotta, I get it. Like, I, let, I don't, everything to me, it doesn't work me having to bring it up. And then that's just me. That's my individual. If I see that, I'm going to give an example, right? If a man ends up working late, and he comes in later than what he said he was going to come in. Now, for me, I expect you to get it. At least text me as a courtesy to let me know, hey, I'm working late. Okay? Mm -hmm. But sometimes, depending on how busy a person's job is, if it's that one time, and I'm going to tell you, it's a pet peeve, but man, I don't like it. But I'm just using it as an example. If that person forgets to text you and they end up working late, some people will be like, oh, okay, maybe he was just working late. And this just depends on wherever you are in your relationship. I'm cooking dinner or whatever. He just end up working late. He comes in, he's tired. Now, some women don't bring it up right away. They're just like, oh, okay, all right, you know, he tired. He came in, he don't went to sleep, he's snoring. Now, the second time he do that, that's when you need to have a discussion. Like, all right, now, listen, now, I let you slide the first time, and you didn't call and you didn't text me. You need to at least call and text me as a courtesy. Have that discussion but, but, with whoever can, your can partner I is. Let me say something. I know the key, I'm going to say two things. Let me finish these two things. Go ahead. The tone is important because if what you just said, I know you were making a point, but if you just said that to me like that, I'd be like, oh, you let me? slide now i got a problem with you yeah i'm right. a grown man you let me slide no so here's the thing there is no way i don't care what anybody said this is me this is joe joseph montgomery if you <laughs> seeing me and dating me i you can go out with your girls every whenever you want but know what i need you to do let me know you made it home safe and you can't say oh i went home with the sleep you got home you can text me say i'm on my way home See, now, that's where the communication comes into play. There's never a moment you can't tell a person you say you love and want to be with, I'm good, I'm on my way home, I'm late. You, it, it takes two seconds to text that. You on the, in your car, when you start up your car, watch your car, hey, I'm on my way home, babe. See, we don't communicate. That's the problem people don't do. And then when you don't communicate, it leaves leeway for me to start using my mind and my imagination. And I don't want a woman to use her imagination, and you don't want me to use my imagination. So just tell me. And that's what we don't do. So it, there's no reason in the world could we make, and like you said, I've had women say to me, oh, oh, you was out you was out with your boys last night. You was out late. You couldn't call me. Yeah, I was with my boys, yeah. Because you would have gave me an excuse. Women do it all the time. Or oh, I'm going to let you slide. Oh, you, you could. Oh, yeah, that's what, okay. I ain't going to slide this time. No, let, hey, babe, what, don't, don't do it in an argumentative way. Hey, babe, you, ain't, you okay? You ain't called me last night. I'm going to text you. Hey, babe, you good? Okay. Everybody got to do it in their own way, but right. the, the respect do got to be there in the language. You gotta, way. But that's learning triggers, though. You got to learn your part in triggers because everybody don't use. Some people, it's a meme that I'm getting ready to post where some couples, that's how they get off. Some couples get off by 
talking to each other crazy. I don't agree with that. I like to joke with mine, you know what I mean? Because I'm a, I'm a like jokey person, but some people are not going to always present it that way. But the bottom line should be, you know, to make sure that you are communicating effectively with each other. That's basically what we're saying. That's, These are just examples one, that we're giving. That's the number one rule in the relationship is communication. Period. It, if you can't so communicate, good. because I've had, and I'm going to give a quick example. We're going to move on. But I have, I've been in this relationship with a young lady. And I called her. Yo, you good. Let me know. I'm a, you know, okay, I'm good. Okay, cool. I just want you to let me know when you got home. I, I don't care what you're doing. Bay, I'm home. Okay, cool. She worked late sometimes. So one time she, she would have a problem like, hey, you don't gotta check on me because my ex did that. I it was a flag right there because she she brings something in, in her last relationship in here. I said, okay. So one time I didn't call her. She called me the next day, like, oh, you ain't calling see if I was home, you ain't care. Why would I call now if you tell me you don't want me to do it? See, it's because you want that. So now in my mind, when I was calling before you was doing something you shouldn't have been doing. That's my see, see I'm, I'm using my imagination because you can't say. Why didn't you call me? But when I call you, have a problem that I'm checking. Think I'm checking on you. I'm not checking on you. I don't care less what you're doing. But if you with my responsibility and I care about you, just let me know you're safe. I'm home. Right. It takes two seconds to text. I'm good. Or hey, anything. I'm gonna know you're good. So I can go to sleep and I ain't gotta worry about you. I know. But again, if you if I care about you and I and you out with your friends, have a good time. But then you I wake up next morning, I ain't heard from you. Okay. I get up and go to work, I ain't heard from you. So now, what am I going to think? Oh, babe, I, was, I didn't get a chance to call you. How did you get a chance to call me? You could have texted me. That's the thing I don't understand. And as a man, same thing. You can text and say, babe, I'm on my way home. I'm good. You can be outside waiting for your valet. Hey, babe, I'm on my way home. <laughs> and you can't, and you, you can't get upset if I did that. If I'm at work, say, babe, I'm working late. Okay, babe, I'm about to leave. I'm on my way home. I'm tired. It's done. You can't say, babe, when I called you, I worked late. Now I'm on my way home going to sleep. You can't get mad at me then. But if I don't ever call you at all, you're going to start thinking, okay, where did you really go? You said you went to sleep, but because I had to drive in my car, and guess what? Yeah, we in Georgia, no hands. So we, we so you, you text all day when you drive in on the phone. You will text in a minute, let somebody call you. Come on, now, we, let's, let's, be, and the rea let's be real and, re and, and be, let's be real and be logical about this process. It's not that hard. It's not. Just communicate. Just communicate. But learn your partner communication style. Learn their triggers. Learn what you like, how you like to be talked to or how you don't like to be talked and to. Here we that go. is perfect. in the beginning stages when you build a song with somebody. I don't, some people don't like to be yelled at or talked to. Some people don't like to be cussed at. You just got to know your partner and your hand. spouse. Everybody know me. You, you know me, you know me. One thing about me, I don't cuss. I don't really, I don't cuss. I don't, and, and let's, it's a secret. I don't want everybody to know. It's kind of sexy when I want to see hear, hear a woman because it's kind of sexy to me. I, I do. I, I'm I, sorry. I, I use profit. profanity. I don't have I'm a working problem with like, cussing, no. But here's the thing. <laughs> don't cuss at me because I will never cuss at you. That part. That's the communication that for me. That part. Don't cuss at me. Don't call me because I, I never do it to you. I don't mind you cussing like a sailor. When you cuss directly at me, it's a problem. That's what I'm saying that because that's about learning your partner's communication. That's it. Learn yeah. how to communicate. And then we have to sometimes, when you upset, my favorite place, going out back with the mayor, calm down. And then have a conversation with your partner. When you come in aggressive, I'm going to get aggressive, and we're going to argue about something that we didn't even get the, the root of the problem before. Because you're arguing. Because we just argue. I'm, I'm going to get defensive. <laughs> and I'm going to get mad, and I'm going to walk out the house. And you're going to be mad, and then at the end of the day, you're like, wait, well, he never asked me where he was at. He probably with that girl now. Now we just made a big old thing about something. And just it's, it's about the way you deliver a message. Deliver it the right way, you That's get the right answer. answer. You get more bees with honey than you do with vinegar. Period. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just being real. And then, and then if, if you if you have a different type of tone, I can't be aggressive with you. I got to answer your question. Yeah, you know they say the way to defuse an argument is to talk to the other person that's doing it. Yell and talk to them calm. Yeah, don't yell. And eventually the voice will start to come because down. They, they hear yelling with yourself then. Yeah, they teach you that when you're, well, if you're good in customer service, when yes. a person is yelling, just talk to them in a the common voice. Yes. But I mean, you all, this is basically just, I, and we may have went like around the corner and up the street and back, but just to kind of rear it back to the topic, this is all touching on once you are starting to attack your box and that's your dating box after you start putting people in your boxes as you start going through the dating process. Now it is time for you to do the meshing stage for people to figure out who you mesh with and who you don't. And once you get there, man, you, you find that lucky guy or you find that lucky woman, you, you know, you on your way, but but be, I just but say this, learn to communicate effectively by learning your partner's um, communication style, 
Two, making sure that you pay attention to those red flags. Three, for women, what do we say? Um, make sure that you're not giving out too much information, which means that uh, primarily stay away from telling a man majority of the stuff that you don't like. Your because parents. typically if he's an F boy, he Thank is going to focus on doing the very things that you like and whatever you dislike, he's going to make sure that he does not do them so that he can rock you to sleep. You're going to know a person is, that a person is into you based off of their consistent actions. Sure. And it is not going to have to take you to tell them what you want and what you need by them being into you. They are going to, they're going to do it. And this goes for both men and women. If a woman likes you, cause I'm a woman, she's going to show you by her actions. Can I, she's please gonna say be consistent. Can I please say something? This is very important. Make sure that you don't, make his actions has to be your actions because what you mean like sometimes as an example let me think of something okay you might feel like if a man really like me he gonna do this 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 that yeah. might not be who he is right he might be doing some things to him that's out of his character but it might not be because because we compare our past so yes, the last is. guy that was with you you say oh he bought this he did this he he, he gave me a key to his house all this stuff but the next guy might not do that his way might be coming, you know, buying you dinner and doing different things. So never compare people together because another person's tolerance is, is different. Another person, you can't just another, per another person's hurt or their happiness. You can't judge it. No, you can't. Just, just listen. And I don't how think they you need to be bringing up past anyway. Right. I just and don't see, think that you need to be bringing up anything past from any past you want see, All you want to see is improvement. That's it. If that day one he was a four and you was with him, his actions were, his actions were a four. So, you right. know, watch actually maybe be a five. It should be a six. His actions. I'm not saying it should, it should see his actions grow because you might feel an important action for him for every man you ever been with was an eight. Well, if this mm -hmm. man's actions are a four in the beginning, he's moving. Because sometimes you, you expect people to move at your pace. As long as they're moving, they're going in the direction you want them to go. As long as they're moving where you want them to go. They can't go from four to ten in, in, in a month. Because that's how they do. <laughs> just make sure they're moving. Then you can say, okay, well, I see if he's moving. As a man, I see her moving. I see she's not a, she's not a cook, but you know what? I like it. I like a home cooked meal. So every now and then she might say, hey, you know what? Hey, babe, come over. I'm going to do this. Oh, okay. Or hey, babe. So she might even be like, hey, babe, I, I ain't cook, but I bought this food. Come over. She, Man, she if she cook you hamburger helper, yes, okay, eat it. She might not be the best cook, eat, but eat it. If even if she, look, babe, no. babe, you did good. You even know? if she say, you know what, babe, come over. I <laughs> order some food. Come over. You know what I mean? At least she trying to make the effort. She's at least she cook. tried. She's trying to say, okay, I know you like a home cooked meal, baby. I know it at home cooked. I, I threw the stuff in the garbage, but it's in the plate. She trying. So then you can say, okay, babe, let's cook together now. Let's do this together. Right. You, so right. At least she's trying because somebody's gonna hear like, no, I want I want to be out every night. If she see that's not who you are, and she does not expect her today to be a uh, city girl and next week be Mary Poppins. No. Let I think the conclusion there. of it is God will never send you a finished product. Keep right. that in mind. Everybody is gonna be flawed. Everybody is gonna have something that they're gonna need to work on, and if that person is. Uh, worth you um, moving forward with and worth the risk and worth the investment, I say by doing that process of elimination and, and checking all everything out, if the person's worth it, then you got to be able to work with them to grow and move forward as they are doing for you. So this is going to conclude um, part three and I, our actual dating segment. This is going to conclude that because Now we're going to go to the next. Up, next. Coming up what? We're going to go to the relationship. Once you win that relationship with that person, we're going to go to that. We are, but we are actually going to break it down based off of different relationship right. topics. Now, we've gotten off. This is the was the dating part that we wanted to cover from part one to part three. So if you all missed part two and part one, make sure that you visit our YouTube page and check us out so that you can get all caught up. Because now we're getting ready to get into the relationship part. <laughs> different things that goes on in there and, and some please, news and some if you go to, If you go to YouTube or I think Spotify, wherever it is, please yeah. ask questions in the comment because it's going to be read and we, and we can talk about something you might specifically want to talk about that you don't want to talk about it, but we can kind of right. generalize it to whoever. We can make it just have a conversation. It's, it's really, and I say this in the beginning, I'm going to say it at the end. This is the world according to Joe. That's all it is. But I've, I've had experiences with different types of relationships, different types. I mean, I, I'm out here dating, so I have that. So again, this is the world according to Joe, and I'm here to show you my mistakes, my experiences, to because I know we've all had the same type of experience and type of mistakes, but it's kind of different. So that, that's all it is. So please, 
please chime in. Please ask questions. Please give some other some topics about this subject, and we can talk about it, please. So, again, this is the world according to Joe, and I'm going to let Sneaker take it from there. All right, y'all. Y'all stay healthy. This basically <laughs> sums it up with me, too. We on this journey together. Keep that in mind, y'all. We are. So whatever I experience, whatever I go through, I'm going to bring it to you all as Joe. But we're going to go ahead and wrap this up. We will see you all next episode, which is coming up uh, second week in February on that Tuesday. So make sure you